Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson, and yes, this is the 2019 Beta 390 RR Race Edition sitting in my shop. We're gonna talk about why it's here in just a minute. Stick around. So yeah, this is the 2019 Beta 390 RR Race Edition. This thing is here because Beta is a very cool company. Beta is letting me borrow this thing for three months so that I can do a full review on this thing. In case you guys uh, are new to the channel, back in 2017, I reviewed their 300 RR two-stroke uh, bike, and that was a fantastic bike. And it's a really, Beta is a really cool company, an up and coming company. I shouldn't say up and coming, they've been around for a long time, long, long time, probably longer than I've been alive. They're made in Italy, and they're getting more and more popular here in the United States. And they are a fantastic alternative to the KTMs and the Husqvarna's and, and the Gas Gas and some, and some of the Japanese models like the, the Hondas and the Yamahas and the Suzuki's and the Kawasaki's. These Betas are a fantastic bike that are really, really well made. And this is the four stroke, this is a four stroke. It's the first time I've done a four stroke from Beta. And it's the first time I had a, I've had a four stroke in my shop for a little while, because last year in 2018, we were gonna do this bike in 2018, and then I tore my ACL and that kind of put me back uh, a little while. So now we're here. And I just wanna thank Beta for having the balls to allow me to review a bike on their dime when there's no guarantee of what I will say. I've had some good interactions with Beta in the past and we've had, we, we had a couple of uh, conversations like, hey, what about this and what about that? And I'm going, look, I review the bikes the way I want to review them. Are you okay with that? And they certainly are. So props to them for stepping up to the plate. Beta and Husqvarna are the only manufacturers that have allowed me to borrow a bike without having, without having to buy it outright. So I bought every bike outright except for uh, the ones that I've done from Beta here, and it's pretty, pretty stinking awesome. There's a lot to like about this bike already, and I haven't ridden it yet. Uh, we're gonna find out how much it weighs in this video. I filled the tank full of fuel, I'm, I'm gonna weigh this bike on the same commercial shipping scale that I weigh all my bikes. I weigh them ready to ride. Uh, but Beta has some really cool things on this bike straight out of the gate. They give us a skid plate, which is great. You get some hand guards, which some of the, which some of the manufacturers are not giving. And there's, this has got a really cool seat where you can put down lap times and different things. They've done a lot of cool stuff on this bike and I will get into all of that as we review this throughout the year. I've heard a ton of good stuff about this 390 motor, about how torquey it is and, and how, how, how it's just got kind of the perfect mix of power. So we're gonna find out. I'm gonna take this bike in some desert stuff and I'm gonna take it in some mountain single track because I'll have it throughout the summer. And so this is, I'm gonna put it through its paces. And this bike is gonna go to war with me. Um, I probably won't take it in some of the more nasty, nasty stuff because it isn't my bike. Um, but I will take it in some quasi nasty stuff and just see how she does. One thing to note though is no Kickstarter here. I believe that the Kickstarter is something that you can get as an, as, you know, an add-on accessory for three or $400, but I am not a fan of that. Um, I've been, I've made no uh, bones about that. So that's something that I'm disappointed in that a lot of dirt bike manufacturers are doing. Anyway. This is the bike, it's a beautiful bike as you've seen. I, I should be rolling in some footage here of all the different angles of this bike. We're gonna weigh it right now and see how much she weighs. Okay, so as you can see, this good looking bike weighs 259 pounds. If, I, if we go to kilograms, that's 117.4 kilograms. That's how much this bike weighs, full of fuel and ready to ride. It does have a skid plate on it. It's got the stock wheels. Everything is stock. I haven't touched this other than to top off the fuel tank. Yes, it's got full antifreeze. Yes, it's got full oil. And that's how much it weighs when you go out to ride this thing. So if I take a look and see how this compares to some of the other four strokes that I've done recently, uh, well, let's, let, let's compare it to the, the um, two stroke version of this from two years ago. The 2017 300 RR was 251.5 pounds. So this is about eight pounds heavier than the two-stroke version, at least the two-stroke from uh, two years ago. If I compare it to the Sherco, I had a, I had a, I had a 2017 Sherco 300 SEFR, which is uh, a bike that was 260.5 pounds. So this is, this is within a pound and a half of that Sherco, uh, this Beta. Um, this is a little bit bigger motor. I don't know how much that plays into it. Uh, and then is, if I compare it to my 2019 KTM 250 XC, which is just outside, that bike is 236 pounds. So this bike is 23 pounds heavier than my KTM, two stroke. Um, so are you gonna feel that? You probably will. See, 
and I say this every time, weight on the scale is not exactly, does not always exactly translate to weight on the trail, like felt weight on the trail. There's a lot of things that you can do to set up the bike as far as how high the forks are up in the triple clamps and, and how tight your steering tension is. And some of these different things you can do to make the bike feel a little bit lighter. So I'm not, I, I'm not going into this thinking that this bike is gonna be heavy and lumbering because some of the lightest bikes or some of the lightest feeling bikes on the trail have been some of the heaviest bikes on the scale. So I've, I'm over that. But it is something to know. It, the extra weight does wear you down eventually. And this being a four stroke with a, it's a big bore four stroke. I think a 390 is a big bore. Anything over about 250, 300, I feel on a dirt bike like this, an off-road enduro style dirt bike is a big bore. So I think this bike is going to have a little bit of that really planted, really stable feel, which is a good thing for a lot of people. The other cool thing about these uh, betas, which we'll get into more, is they have a little bit lower seat height. And they're just, it's just, their tagline is rideability. And so these bikes are not usually for the bikes that are more, they're not usually made, I don't think, for the guys that are 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", but they're made for a lot of the average people in the world, which is anywhere from 5'7", to 5'10". I'm six feet tall, so, um, it, I, I probably don't get as much benefit from a little bit lower seat height, but a lot of guys do. So this bike comes in again at 259.0 pounds on my shipping scale. It's the same scale that I use every time and I fill them full of fuel and get them ready to ride. So I'm excited about reviewing this bike. We'll have a bunch of different riding videos and then it will culminate in a full, um, full real world review of what it's like to live with this, with this bike. Because riding a bike for a couple hours at, at a demo day or living with a bike for a couple of months is a big difference. And so I get to see like what it's like to do maintenance, what it's like to change air filters, what it's like to do oil changes, what it's like to wash the bike. Are there little funny things where you get blasted in the face by something? I love the handles on these things. So there's a bunch of things that are on this bike that are, I'm gonna love. I'm not gonna love all the switches and controls up here because even though this is a race edition, they basically got this thing ready to go street legal. And so I've got, I've got uh, switches for the headlight and the, and the, and the signal lights and a horn and it's got a map switch over here. It's also got like the start and the stop is right over here, which I'll have to, the start is fine. It's, I'm, I'm not used to stopping a bike over on this side. So anyway, there's some funny things, but we're gonna get into this and it'll be a fun bike to do. Again, I wanted to thank Beta for having the guts to step up and let me do this on their dime um, because I will say whatever I want about it. And if you want to support these videos, please use the links down in the description. I've got links to parts. I've got links to Amazon. Um, and those really do help to support my family. Um, also, you can go over to Patreon and do a monthly tip amount over there. And I also do dirt bike giveaways and dirt bike sweepstakes in the future. This bike will not be one that I'm giving away because I don't own it. But we'll have dirt bike sweepstakes coming up in the future where you can get entered to win a bike like the uh, five bikes that we've given away so far. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video and we will catch you guys in the next one.